Universe New Zealand 2016 is... Tanya Dawson! So my name is Tanya Dawson and I'm Sarisa La Paz and we're from Miss Universe New Zealand. I'm the reigning Miss Universe New Zealand 2016 and I'm the first runner-up. Yay! <laughs> so um, what we're doing today is we're doing a makeup tutorial using Samala Cosmetics and I have just finished doing Sarisa's face. If you're wanting to see how I did this, <laughs> stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. So today we're using So what we're doing today is we're going to be using the products from Samala and mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing Cerise's makeup. <gasps> so right now I have no makeup on. I just moisturized my face. She's gonna do all the work. Yeah, <laughs> and it's gonna be fun because um, the next video we'll be doing will be Sarisa doing my makeup. So we have completely different ways <laughs> of doing makeup. Um, exactly. So yeah, we've got different styles. Yeah. yeah. So let's get into it. Here we go. <laughs> so this is the eye primer, and I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this. Um, I just always do a dabbing motion because, uh, especially around the eye area, if you pull at it. You can like cause wrinkles and it's so delicate so padding is always the best option. Uh, what's great about this primer is that it's skin toned so it actually balances out your um, eye colour as well. Whereas some primers are quite um, just clear or translucent and don't do the same thing. Um, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit underneath the eye. So what look are you giving me today? Would um, this be your daily, everyday? Yeah, I like to do a pageant bit of makeup. Yeah, daily, <laughs> everyday pageant makeup. So um, the first product that we're using from Samala is we've got the palette here. Beautiful, all the different colours. Um, these are awesome. I love these colours because they're quite natural, and you can also turn a day look into a night look pretty easy. So I'm going to go with this. Um, the shade here. Yeah, I'm just taking this through the socket and I'm following Cerise's natural socket. Enhancing what you have instead of changing it. So next colour that I'm going to be using is going to be this brown. I always like to build my colours so I start with the next colour up. By the way, we're not trained makeup artists. Nope. <laughs> um, we just like makeup. And this is the first time we're actually doing a, uh, what do you call it, a makeup tutorial. tutorial yeah. yeah. But um, Samala Academy does like amazing courses. I know a lot of friends that are doing them and they love them. Um, so if you're wanting to train for makeup, go to Samala. We got a lovely tutorial from Samala. Oh, we did. Yep. So and we learned so much. Learned a lot how to use the products and get the most out of them. And it's amazing how you can use the products for a lot of different things. Yeah. Cool. Now, taking another step up. Building that color, so we go back to our palette. So next one, I'm going to go darker. So this is like the darkest. Well, that one's the darkest, but this is pretty dark brown. I also use this for my eyebrows. Great oh, eyebrow color. Yeah. Um, this one's going to be intensifying that corner. So we're only focusing on that outer V. And then back in with my little fluffy brush. Back in with a little bit of our first color, just to blend it out. I'm gonna go back in here. Um, I'm picking up this dark color here. I've just like literally put it on the very tip of my brush. And this is what's gonna make the look look so much more intense. So again, we're just gonna go on top of that color we put on. You actually have really good skin, Sarisa. <laughs> yeah, what a compliment. I actually almost forgot that I had no foundation on my face. <laughs> 
So I've got my blending brush and I'm going to go in and blend that dark colour. I'm going to be so light with this because like, I don't want to take all that off and I don't want to over blend it so it goes full me. I'm going to go back to that first colour, the one that we started off with. Tanya was in the Philippines for three whole weeks and this is the look that you do yourself every day? Yeah, pretty much. Like, I use these same colours. Mm -hmm. Depending how I felt would be how intense that would get. And like everyday makeup, like even though you've got a lot of cameras, you don't want to be meeting people with a, a whole lot of makeup on your yeah. face. Because you still want to look natural. Yeah, you still time. want to look yeah. natural. You're meeting a lot of people, um, especially at an international pageant. Mm -hmm. You've got to look that good in camera, but you also um, got to look good in person. Um, so we've got two lighter colours. We've got this bronzy one and we've got this um, here and I'm just mixing them together. It's like a gold and a bronze. Mixing them together and I'm filling up the empty space that I've left in the centre of your eyelid. So I've left it there for a purpose. It's to put a pop of colour. Next colours. So like the highlighting of your eyes. So like this palette's got everything. It's got the two highlighters over here. So I'm just going to mix them together because I like mixing together. And whatever come out, colour comes out, comes out. So these are going in the inner corner of her eye. Okay, so the next product is the Samala Gel Liner. Um, so this is such a great colour. This one here. So I'm using um, Samala's foundations. I'm going to mix these two different ones together. So I've mixed in my um, little mix here. I've got like a little um, stippling duo fiber brush. It's duo fiber, yeah. And I'm just going to pick that product up. I'm going a little bit over her lips because I'm going to erase her lips a little bit. Because <laughs> when we put the lipstick on, I want it to be nice and sharp. Like I said, I'm going to use this to kind of highlight Cerise's face. We're now going to go in with our dark colour and we're going to contour a little bit. So this is the dark colour here and I'm just going to pick that up and also put that on my hand. And find your cheekbones, can you duck face for me? This is Tanya's favourite pose. <laughs> the duck face. Mm -hmm. So classic. Never, never goes so old. So then I'm um, going back in with this duo fibre. And just gonna blend that. Keep it in the same area. Don't blend it down too far. There's like a rule. Don't just, like contour past the corner of your eyebrow. So oh, if you didn't know I that, didn't know that. If you go down, that's as far as you should contour. And then um, any remaining product, I like to put on my chin underneath. Um, I don't know about you, Therese, do you ever like contour your, under your jawline? I, 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 do, I do here, not so much under my chin. Must be um, my thing, because I have a wee bit of a double chin. <laughs> and if I don't. I so do, it's like, if I <laughs> take photos from this side, there's like a little thing going on. So now we're going to set this foundation and I'm using another Samala product. The great thing about this product is that you can pick your shades. Um, so I'm just going to use this fluffy brush. And um, to contour we have another powder that Samala has. Um, I use these quite a lot as a contour for your eyes. Do you, do you use it for your eyes as sometimes well? Sometimes I do, yeah. yeah I so. use it as an eyeshadow as well, sometimes. Yeah. And yeah. these are great, like if you're wanting to do a base instead of using the um, Smiler palette from here, like these are great base to start off your shadows, or for like a yeah. real natural look. Foundation done! Let's go back to eyes. And I'm going to use that chocolate brown. Yay. 
She has really, really nice brows. Yeah. Like, actually, show them. They're like perfect. Like these, you don't I've got no to... product in this. Just... You don't even need to do anything with them. That's why I'm scared of other eyebrows. <laughs> Mine are fine and I don't have to touch them, so I have no, mm. um, no experience with them. Alright, I'm gonna go in now with a dark one just to like contour the brow. <laughs> So, um, Theresa loves lashes. I love lashes. I don't think anyone's ever seen me without them. <laughs> Except now, you Help guys. Right now. Yeah. You guys are special. Ooh. Wish me good luck. Oh gosh. <laughs> Close my eyes or look down? I look down. Let them dry, let them dry. Now lipstick. Did, Did she pass? Check. <laughs> <laughs> and check your lashes. Oh, you, you did really, really well. Can I run on? Good? Yeah, run on. I haven't messed up completely. And I've just got a lip liner here from Elizabeth Arden. It's like a nude, a nude lip liner. This is called um, Corset. And it's one of her lip glosses. And I'm going to show you how I use this. So, start off with my lip liner. And I go around the edges first and then I fill. So, I fill from the outside in. Cool. And then with the Samala product here, like, so I think it's uh, best down here, we are going to just put this in the center of the lips. So, we're going to go from here. And we're just going to place the product first. Yeah. And with the lip brush, um, there's actually one attached to this, which is awesome. Mm. I'm just going to blend it out. Cool. And I'm just going to go over the lid. Oh, it's lip liner. That is the finished look using some other products. Dun dun dun! On Done by our own Miss Universe New Zealand 2016. Tanya Dawson. So, um, how are you feeling, Sarissa? Confidently beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's a finished look with Samala products. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, like I said, we're not professional makeup artists. We just like makeup. And yeah, I'm, I'm really glad it turned out okay. No, it's really nice. I love it. Well, um, stay tuned because we have another video coming out where Teresa gets to fix my face. So, um, looking forward to seeing you then. See you later.